Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Bessa Slot here and today I'm going to show you how to create and add to the game your own NPCs using the brand new creation kit. The creation kit has just come out, this is the modding tool for Skyrim, similar to past versions that Morrowind and Oblivion had, but if you've not used them, don't worry, we'll be okay, we'll get through this together, we can do this. So, how do you go about adding your own NPCs? Dead simple. First thing you need to do is hop over to Steam, load up the library, and this little button you'll see here, you need to change from all games or recently played or whatever you've got it set to, set that to tools, and you'll see the creation kit in this line here. Just scroll down to it, download it, won't take long, it's not a big file, in the slightest, and as soon as that's done, you can go and load it up. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with a screen that looks somewhat like this. You will have all this detail on the left. Now the first thing you need to do is go File, Data, and you'll see this screen here. Now these .esms, um, you may not have nearly this many, some of these other mods, but Skyrim.esm is the important one. This is the batch file that stores all of the Skyrim game data. What you need to do is go ahead and double click that box there. As you can see, it's got an X in it. Go do that and then click OK. I'm not going to do it now because it takes forever. Eventually, what that'll do is it'll, it'll, it'll probably crash the creation kit. Don't worry about it. Just leave it. Give it a few minutes and it will eventually load all this stuff here. Lots and lots of beautiful information right there. And as you can see, we've got actors, we've got items magic, we've got everything you could possibly want when it comes to Skyrim. Now just to mention, when you are doing that, every now and again a little warning will pop up and it'll say yes, no, or yes to all. Just click yes to all, it's not anything to worry about, just click it and it'll be fine. So how do we go about adding an NPC? Well the first thing we need to do is get ourselves over to the actor tab, as you can see here. You want to go ahead and click that, that's going to load all the actors in the game. And then click anywhere in here, right click and click new. And this is going to load up a fairly detailed screen and shows you just how much power you actually have, how much you can do in this game. So, we need to invent an NPC. We're going to give him an ID, we're going to call them BIS for best in slot, and we're going to call him, we're going to call him Godzilla, because it's a beautiful name. So that's his, that's his ID, that's just something for you to identify them by, that's not important to the actual character. You want to go ahead and set a name, so Godzilla. And a short name, which is, if you ever set this character up to be in the Radiant AI, Radiant Story type system, this is what other characters will refer to them as. So, gods. Beautiful. One more thing you need to do on this left hand side is go ahead and tick Unique. If you're making a standalone NPC, you have to tick Unique, otherwise they will act in the same way. Say a Saber Cat isn't a unique NPC. They can be spawned over and over again, there's lots of them. If you want a standalone NPC, you need to make sure you're ticking Unique. Then we head over to the right hand side, and you can see Race here, you want to click that, and we're going to pick the Race. And now obviously, Godzilla is going to be an Argonian, so we're going to make an Argonian. And um, if you want, if you go down to the bottom here, Preview, tick that, tick Full, and as you can see, that is our Argonian with a beautifully, terrifyingly straight tail. And there he is, there's... Um, Oopsie daisy, didn't mean to do that. Oopsie daisy. And there's Godzilla. Beautiful, isn't he? So, what else do we need to do? We need to go and give him a voice. As you can see, you can you can give him a chicken voice if you wanted to. Goat voice, any voice you want. Let's go ahead and give him a... Oh, what do we want him to sound like? A male child, because that would be amusing. And you can go ahead and mess with weight and height and all this kind of stuff. You can make them female just by taking that box there. Yes, yes, yes. Like I said, if a box comes up like that, just click yes. We're going to stick with a male for the purpose of this video. And once you've done that, that's all you need to do on this traits tab. As you can see, there's loads of tabs. Don't want you to worry about most of these for now. This is advanced stuff. We'll do tutorials on them in the future. But for now, we're just going to get an NPC into the game. One other thing we need to do, go ahead and click the inventory tab. Give that a second to load. And eventually you'll get a page like this, and you can set an outfit that they walk around in, and you can set an outfit that they go to sleep in. And as you see, ev um, this is all outfits created by Bethesda for the characters they use in the game. You can go ahead and create custom ones, but again, that's something we're going to leave for a future edition. So, let's go ahead and give him some armour, because he's naked, and that's not cool. What do we want? What do we want? DB armour, I'm beyond dead. I have no idea what that is, and it doesn't appear to do anything. Some of these won't, you know, they're not going to affect certain characters. They're only going to work on certain characters. You just need to keep having a look out. We're going to go back up to the top. I'm just going to give him the Blades outfit. 
which should load on him any second now. Right, that's how you do it. Um, if you have updated their armor, you need to go ahead and tick the preview box again, and that will update it again. Um, otherwise, it's not going to show up instantly. Let's go ahead. We're going to stick them in dwarven armor. Dwarven armor, no helmet, so we can see that beautiful face of fist. Sorry about that little delay there. That is all you need to do in terms of creating your NPC. You can do plenty of other stuff. You know, there's a, a ton of stuff you can do here, but it's all a bit more advanced, and we will get to that in future tutorials. For now, go ahead and hit OK. Now, what this is doing is adding the NPC to this list here. As you remember, it was called Best in Slot Godzilla, or BIS, so we need to scroll around until we find BIS, which is going to be up, not down from out, and there it is, there is BIS Godzilla. So that's the object window, that's where you find all the objects in the game. But to actually put the character into the game, we're going to need to find him somewhere to live. That's why we need this window here, which is the cell view, this is all the locations in the game. Uh, I had a place in mind, we are going to go Dragon Bridge, Four Shields, Tavern. This is uh, in, in Dragon Bridge, Near Solitude. What you need to do is scroll down to you find a place you like, find a place where you want your character to live, double click it, and that will eventually load in this window here. The, as you can see, it's now changed to Dragon Bridge, Four Shields, Tavern in the render window as it's called. This one here. Sometimes it's going to take a few seconds, it's got to do a bit of loading and finagling, but it'll get there. Oops, and I've apparently clicked the wrong thing. My bad. <laughs> Well, that gives you a quick look at what that looks like, which is exciting, but let's go ahead and click Dragon Shields again, and there we go. So let's go ahead and get the render window up as our main window. Now, I'm just going to tell you how to control the render, render window out a little bit, because it can be a bit confusing if you're new to this. Scrolling the mouse wheel zooms in and out. If you hold down the mouse wheel, you can then move around like so. And if you hold Shift and then move your mouse, you can sort of pan around and look around. They're the basic controls. If you're using mouse clicks that will tend to mean um, you're moving an object which isn't something we're going to do right now. So you can see all the different aspects of the game, um, the NPCs there, or as you can see that defines it as like a seating position, all this stuff we're not going to go into quite yet. And if you look back in this window here on the right hand side this is all the objects that are here. But we don't care about this, we want to add BIS Godzilla. He deserves, he deserves love, he deserves to be here. So we are going to go ahead and stand him here by the counter. All you need to do, dead simple this, drag from there, drag from there, place. Any second now, and there he is ladies and gentlemen, there he is. If you hold right click you can move him about, hold left click to move him about, hold right click to rotate him, and there is BIS Godzilla, there is Godzilla in our game. Just to prove this works, we are going to in a second load up Skyrim. First thing we need to do though, we need to save it. So you click save and now you need to save it somewhere. Um, just leave it in the data folder because that's where it's going to need to be anyway and we're going to call this Godzilla. This is a plugin file, Godzilla. Now in order to actually use this you need to go back to your game. So let's go ahead and load Skyrim so we can prove this works. Load Skyrim up and when you've loaded Skyrim you need to click data files. Don't just go straight to play, go into data files and as you can see there is Godzilla ESP and it is ticked. Obviously you want it to be ticked but if it's not just come in here and tick it and make sure it's all good. When that's done we are ready to go and check in Skyrim if Godzilla has made it. Let's go find out. So here we are we're at the Four Shields Tavern at Dragonbridge, dead easy to get to. As you can see, we've gone through the door, and now it's for the moment of truth. Will Godzilla be in our game? Let's go find out. Now, we've placed him somewhere over here. Oh, and who's that I see on the left? Ladies and gentlemen, it's our NPC. Yes. As you can see, got the child's voice, which is hmm? terrifying. Hi there. But, um, very, very cool, I think. <laughs> um, it's that simple, guys. That is how you add an NPC to Skyrim. Go mess around with it, have fun be keeping up to date with loads of these tutorials in the future. Um, we're going to show you how to do everything we possibly can in the creation kit so you can become the best modder you can possibly be. It's very exciting. Look forward to it. I look forward to it. And I shall see you in the next video, guys. Cheers for watching as always.